Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. I am on Solanka. I have a massive carrot field right here. It needs to be harvested, but I wanna have a way to harvest it faster. So the purpose of this video, if you are worried about the new root crops or you wanna do them, but you're worried that, you know, well, they're gonna take it too long to harvest for this, that, or the other thing, this is the video to show you three ways that you can improve the speed of your harvest. I'm gonna go from a slight improvement to a really good improvement to then the best of the best improvement to get your speed going. Yes, some of the stuff I'm gonna show you is not gonna be super realistic. So if you play realistic, obviously you're probably just gonna stick with the regular stuff anyways. But if you know, um, under the premium expansion, we have, well, we have a couple of different things in here. And I'm gonna show you how all this stuff works here. So first off, this guy right here, problem with it is as you're driving, you have to have a trailer under here um, to harvest it. Otherwise, yeah, there's no capacity or anything like that. So. If you install the Global Goods Transport Pallet by 82 Studio, um, you can get this guy and you can put it into a unreal capacity of 200,000 liters. And then you can put it on the back. So you see one side is auto load, one is discharge. We're gonna swoop that around to the auto load side. And you can lift this without super strength, even if you are on console, whatever the case may be. And all this stuff I'm gonna show you, by the way, is for all platforms. Um, so if we hop up here, get that put up on there. I'm gonna, I found that if you hop up on this side, you get it's easier to get up for whatever. Maybe not now, of course, I can't get up, period. Um, yep, just all sorts. There we go. You have to get up, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Get up on top. I'm just going to position this right back here so the auto load is towards the belt. Um, and I'm going to get in it. Now, it won't stay there super well, so you just have to be aware of that. Um, it might move around, you might have to adjust it, but the harvester will stop and you won't lose anything. It won't waste anything if you have to stop for whatever reason. So, basically what happens now is I can actually hire a worker to do this. So I'm going to just hit H to hire a worker. And then they're going to keep doing their thing. So as they're driving, they're registering that as a trailer being under there. And that's a 200,000 liter capacity trailer is what it's registering as. So as the carrots come up and out, they are getting swooped up and put into that pallet which you can then have a worker just kind of set off and do his thing. And it'll take a while. This is probably the most realistic out of all the ways I'm going to show you. I just unhired the worker here. We're going to get him out of the way, uh, just up over here. And you can see it's still picking up the carrots, even though they're a little bit further away. But you can then, as soon as you get a full one of these, you can grab it off the top. Maybe if I can get up there. Maybe not. It's a little bit of a pain to grab off the top. That's the one thing. This is a little finicky. But once you get it set up and rocking and rolling, to go but you can see there's 1756 liters in there so it is taking the carrots by the way one quick note here i saw this method of using the 82 studio pallet um in a uh mr silly p video that video is linked down below in the description make sure you check it out and mr silly p saw it in a driver 53 video that video is also linked in the description so i just wanted to give credit it wasn't my idea it was uh driver 53's idea originally it sounds like and there may have been other people to get it from other places and stuff like that. But that's where I got it from. So I just wanted to give credit where credit's due. So there you guys go. Now, the next thing I want to show you is this guy right here, which um, let me go over here. This is going to be pull up the name of it here. This is the uh, lizard or excuse me, the T440 multi harvester pack by Mark Thor. So in this pack, if we go in here. Um, you're going to want to grab one of these carrot headers here. So again, you have, they're all 5.4 meters. This goes at 12 miles an hour, which is real quick. This is 24, and the one I have is 62 miles an hour. You go in here, you can adjust the color to whatever you want, and then you also wanna get the harvester to go with it, this guy down here. Go into here, you can do 60K for the capacity, 250, or up to 1 million, which is of course what I went with. And you can upgrade the engine or whatever else you wanna do, and the colors and all that good stuff. So I made it nice and orange for carrots. So. This thing's gonna drive, well, first off, you can drive this around at 124 miles an hour, and now it has a 1 million liter capacity for carrots. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and activate this guy, and now, at that speed, I should be able to get up to 60 miles an hour here. I am harvesting carrots at 62 miles per hour at 5.4 meters. Now, if I wanted to, I can hire a worker to do it, so now I have a worker doing it, and now they are just zooming along just harvesting carrots at a crazy speed. Look at that, we got 40,000 something now. The, the worker has to slam on the brakes. I think there's good brakes in there, but anyhow, yes, that is a really quick way to get your carrots off your field if you wanted to do that, but it is not the fastest, best way. And you might say, well, what in the world's gonna be faster than that? And I know you guys probably already saw it, but uh, we are about to take a look at the Lizard Colossus pack, which is what that guy is right there. So if I go into the store here, Lizard Colossus pack has a lot of really fast, cheaty harvesters. 
uh, but you want to use this guy right here and you can set it to whatever you want. I'm going to do, um, it doesn't matter what you want. I'm going to do only premium root crops, unrealistic. So now it has a, a ridiculously high capacity. I think that's the highest. Oh, 20, there we go. 2.5 million. I think that's the one I went with the 2.5 million. I can upgrade the horsepower, all that good stuff. But anyhow, there's lots of upgrades. Drives really fast and does harvesting really fast. Then we need to look for some different things in here. We're going to go to the DLC root crop header unrealistic. You can go realistic if you wanted to, if you just wanted the four meter header at 10 miles an hour. This one says four meters at 90 miles an hour. But if we go in here, we can adjust the working width to 10 meters, 20 meters, and then back to standard. So we're going to do 20 meters, which is what I did. Um, you can still adjust the colors and all that too, which is great. So let's get in this bad boy and then fire this bad boy up and show you how good this guy does with a 20 meter header width, and it should be able to hold 2.5 million liters. Watch how fast we can harvest this field right here. So if you wanted to do some root crops and we're worried about the harvest, this, oh, I can unfold the uh, tool here. There we go. Oh, that's, oh, sorry. I unfolded the wrong thing. There we go. We'll eventually get it. <laughs> All right. Should be, what? I thought I unfolded the harvester. The header should be all unfolded then too. Make sure it's all, maybe I got out of it before it was fully unfolded. That could have been the problem. Well, if they get unfolded there, that's gonna be the longest process to get it unfolded compared to what we're about to do. There we go. So this thing has a ridiculously wide header and look how fast we're getting carrots and now we can get this thing up to, should be all the 90 miles an hour. We may not even be able to get to the end of the field by the time we hit this uh, speed of 90 miles an hour. We're going, we're going. At least I thought it was 90, could be only 60. No, we're still, we're still accelerating. It's trying to keep up. Now, occasionally, if you do go too fast, it might miss a little bit here and there. Oh, we're at the end. Turn around without losing. Oh, we tipped it. Well, anyhow, and we're back up. <laughs> still rocking and rolling, easy peasy. Let's get all this stuff we missed down here. No big deal. But as you can see, we're at 174,000 liters in here. Uh, if I wanted to dip over here and just grab some, just get a lot real quick. Um, this thing is going to be your absolute fastest way to harvest your root crops. If you did it better than me, which you also about, you can hire a worker. If I hire a worker, a worker will do it. They're going to slam on their brakes here in a second. Yep, be six miles away. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the worker go. Oh, gosh, it's crazy. So, yes, this is by far the fastest way to do your root crop harvesting. We have 271,000 liters. They might ask, why do you even want to bother with doing root crops? I'm going to take over here for this guy, and I'm also going to get back to hopefully a normal steering for me. Um, why would you want to do root crops? Well, if you don't put them into productions, they're still one of the most profitable crops in the game. These things will make you a lot of money. So just doing this one field, and obviously we're doing it very quickly, so I get that. Um, and I know some of you guys are not going to like this. You're like, ah, it's unrealistic, which yeah, obviously this is unrealistic. I'm not I'm not justifying anything I'm doing here as realistic or this is how the farmers in real life do it. Would never say anything like that. But now, let's say we wanted to go ahead and sell these carrots off. We go down here and we find the carrots down at the bottom. Yes, they are. There we are. Let's look at, uh, uh, without going to the train, what's the best one? The supermarket. We'll tag that bad boy. Um, where is that on the map here? Supermarket. Where are you at? Right up over there. Okay. So now if I just go ahead and jump up over to that area there. And I put my pipe out because I want to sell these carrots off. Sorry, a little bit of time to take me to turn around here. Just some of the carrots off of one field. Boom, right there. This should unload fairly quickly. You can see our money flying up in the corner. This isn't even all the carrots off of that field, but a fair portion of them, $100,000. And this is not, I mean, this is a large field, but it's not that big compared to some other maps. You have to remember, this is a standard map, and it's only that little bit of chunk of space there. So you will make a lot of money doing root crops if you want to do them. So there you guys go. I just thought that would be kind of a helpful video for you if you guys were looking for, well, better ways to do root crops or anything like that. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.